there, YouTube, Corn Cob Piper. Uh, coming at you again with another video. Uh, I want to wish everybody a happy uh, International uh, Pipe Smoking Day. I hope everybody's had at least the opportunity uh, to smoke, you know, a few bowls or ba bare minimum of, you know, at least one bowl. I'm smoking this afternoon out of my Missouri Meerschaum uh, Unfinished Country Gentleman. And inside of it, I have packed uh, some Dunhill My Mixture 965. Uh, if you guys like Latakia Ford Englishes that you know can be had for an everyday smoke, uh, definitely, definitely would recommend uh, you know this blend. It's one of one of my go-to blends. Um, so this is my first uh, ever um, International Pipe Smoking Day uh, that I'm celebrating as a member of the YTCP. Uh, so I figured, uh, you know, probably not uh, you know, any better day to do my, my introduction to you. So this is my introduction to the YouTube um, uh, piping community. Um, so my name is Corey. I use the um, YouTube handle Corn Cob Piper. Uh, as you can see here, I, you know, I definitely like my corn cob pipes. Um, I hail from... Sunny Southwest Florida in Fort Myers, um, was originally born and raised in the state of Ohio. Uh, yes, I am a Ohio State Buckeye football fan, go Bucks. Uh, sorry for all you uh, Michigan viewers, uh, you know, watching my, my video, uh, but it is what it is. Um, I am married and a father of two beautiful children, uh, a daughter and a son, uh, ages seven and ten. Uh, and the three of them, you know, definitely are my world. Uh, my hobbies include, obviously, pipe smoking, uh, collecting uh, tobaccos and corn cob pipes. Uh, you know, and I do have several other, other pipes in my collection as well, but the majority of them is, uh, you know, obviously corn cob. Um, I'm in the process right now of building a, a cellar, uh, you know, as we all know, the tobaccopolis is coming, and with FDA deeming and Dunhill exiting the market, uh, definitely a time right now to go ahead and start cellaring some tobaccos. I, I'm worried about some of my favorite blends were produced after 2007, and I'm worried that they're going to go away, so that's my main focus right now. Is getting those uh, cellared so you're, you're definitely going to see some more upcoming yabos from me uh, you know I got some tins on order right now I'm waiting for them they should they should be arriving I, I would assume sometime sometime this week um, I you definitely more into uh, tobaccos than I am into pipes so, you know pipes are cool but I really enjoy you know trying and experiencing the different different many different tobaccos out there I, I wouldn't um, necessarily, you know, put myself, um, I wouldn't call myself an aromatic smoker, I'm not an English smoker, I'm not a Virginia smoker, uh, I like them all. The only thing that I really am not enjoying at the moment, although I'm willing to try more in the future, are, are Burley tobaccos. Um, I've never enjoyed the smell of cigar or the taste of them. I've smoked a few in my life. But never a big fan in, uh, you know, burly flakes or, uh, you know, tobacco blends with lots of burly in them. They, they remind me of cigars. Um, so I'll smoke them. They're okay. Uh, can I say that I enjoy them? Um, nah, I'm not really up in the air on that. I've only tried a couple. Uh, so if, you know, if, you know, I'd appreciate some comments below. Uh, maybe get with some suggestions on easing my way into you know more tobaccos containing burley or trying some you know burley flakes out. Um, I've been an on again, off again pipe smoker since my early 20s. Uh, you know, always smoking like the Dr. Uh, Grabo's uh, from from Rite Aid or uh, Walgreens, and um, you know buying whatever whatever tobacco you know they sell at the time and I smoked here and there uh, I've really only really got into um, pipe smoking uh, you know full-time as a full-time hobby recently uh, but I'm really enjoying it I'm glad that I did find the uh, uh, YT 
PC because uh, you know, like some of the other uh, you know people out there have mentioned, and including myself, I don't really know anybody else that smokes a pipe. Uh, none of my friends are into it. Um, so, you know, smoking, smoking a pipe is fun, but, uh, you know, I felt like I was missing out on being, you know, part of a community or a fellowship. And I stumbled upon some videos pretty much by accident on YouTube, and I'm, I'm totally glad I did. Uh, you know, it's great to be part of this, this, this community. Uh, I've met some great people already in the short time that I've been part of it. Uh, you know, done some tobacco trades, uh, you know, just messaging people. Uh, you know, I enjoy all of your videos. Uh, you know, keep them coming, guys. No matter no matter how minuscule or interesting you think they are, uh, you know, I get lots of benefits, and I'm sure some of the other people in the community do too. Uh, you know, I do have my my few favorite uh, you know people in in the YTPC that I, that I watch mostly. You know, but I, I try to subscribe to anybody that I see that's part of the community. And, you know, I try to watch as many of your videos as you can. Um, I enjoy doing the VRs to everybody. Um, you know, I plan on doing a VR once I hit 100 subs. I don't know how many I'm at right now. Uh, somewhere, I think, like 50. So probably still going to be a while before that happens for me. Um, but once again, I just wanted to, you know, wish everybody out there a uh, happy International Pipe Smoking Day. And thank you, uh, you know, everybody that's commented on my videos so far and watched them. Uh, you know, don't forget to like them and subscribe. I definitely appreciate all your comments, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm grateful to be a part of this community. Uh, that's pretty much it for me today, YouTube. You have yourself a, a great rest of the day. Uh, you know, hopefully get a couple more bowls in, smoked for yourselves, and as always, keep on piping.